हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सॉटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड जुपिटर इज अबाउट टू गो डायरेक्ट आई एम इन दृक पंचांग डॉट कॉम थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री संडे थ्री थर्टी नाइन ए जुपिटर विल बी डिरेक्ट अगेन सो जुपिटर वेन रेट्रोग्रेड ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी Uh, this is as per german time but yeah so it's around 31st december even for india time and uh, yes of course um, mercury will also go direct on second i guess first or second of january so yeah these two planets will be direct as drik panchang says so basically as the new year kicks in we will have a direct Jupiter and a direct Mercury, which is very important because I am seeing uh, the transits. So currently, uh, if I see Sun is in Sagittarius, then today as I am recording this, Moon is in uh, Taurus. It's in Kritika Nakshatra. Then Mars is in Scorpio, uh, directly opposite uh, to the Moon, and then Mercury, as you know, is retrograde. And needless to say, what Mercury retrograde does, right? and of course jupiter is in 11 degrees of aries and in ashwini and venus is in 29 degrees of libra and saturn is in 8 degrees of aquarius and saturn is now direct and rahu and ketu as you know then in pisces and virgo respectively all right so uh, this transit of jupiter is very important because as you know jupiter is in the sign of aries aries is the first sign of the kalpurush kundli and aries is a very uh, interesting sign the reason is because aries has to do with creation and beginning so any new beginnings uh, could be expected depending on the houses that jupiter rules in your chart so for example if uh, jupiter is your seventh lord so it could be possible that uh if your dashas are agreeing and due to some reason uh, your wedding is getting postponed then maybe you can get married provided your mahadasha antardasha agrees and then it is also possible if jupiter is your 10th lord you know, something related to the profession can happen all right so therefore uh, keep a eye on what jupiter is doing in your chart depending on your uh, ascendant and um, you will see that things are now starting to fall in place and because ashwini uh, nakshatra is related to the ashwini kumara so it is always good if you pray to them uh, to request them uh, if certain things are being halted for no reason you know uh, like you want to get them done but for some reason or the other you are not able to get them done okay so Uh, Ashwini Kumaras, if they bless you, then uh, your things will start completing. And also, uh, it's interesting that Saturn is also now direct. He's in Aquarius, uh, in Shatta Bisha Nakshatra. So, if Saturn is also uh, direct now, so it's like saying the cosmic energies now want you to move forward. You know, like uh, enough of delays, disappointments, setbacks, and now maybe it's the right time for you to finally. apply for the dream job or do uh, some spiritual practices or join some spiritual community or start doing your hobbies in a more uh, systematic manner okay so therefore depending on which houses now jupiter rules two houses depending on your lagna so depending on which houses he rules uh, it it will be decided so as i said for 10th house it could be profession for 7th house it could be marriage but at the end always remember if your mahadasha and antardasha does not permit or does not agree to something uh, that event generally does not occur in your in anybody's life okay so your mahadasha and antardasha have to agree for something to occur because many times people do this blunder you know they will just uh, see transits and then they'll be bothered oh why did this event not happen in my life you know well uh, certainly it can but your mahadasha antardasha has to agree for it otherwise uh, it it it's like uh, just a short fling and there's nothing concrete that materializes in your life all right so therefore uh, please understand that first you do comprehensive analysis 
which means you look at the overall planets you look at jupiter you look at saturn uh, and then you look at your mahadasha antaradasha and then you look at transits okay uh, so otherwise if you do the reverse uh, it will certainly not give you very good, good results it it may give you some opposite results you know so for example uh, if jupiter is your 10th lord and you uh, think okay something big will happen in my profession it could also happen that you lose your job or something like that if the dasha is permitting okay because something to do with your profession will happen it's not necessary that it is only good if your dusthanas are activated in your mahadasha and antar dasha specifically then you may also have problems in finding a new job or keeping your current job okay so therefore don't just think oh jupiter is not direct great things will happen in my life well i hope it happens for everybody but you need to check the mahadasha antar dasha to the extent the dashas are agreeing to that extent new beginnings will happen now that new beginning could be something you like or something which you don't like very much all right so that's another separate topic for discussion uh, what what is something that you like and what is something you don't like but you need to understand that transits have limitations and we cannot predict life events just using transits okay but you can use them as guiding lights for seeing how the uh, planetary energies are changing dynamically how new things are going to unfold you know so using this jupiter's transit also it is important that you uh, learn more about the ashwini kumaras and uh, they also deal with health and uh, they also deal with contacts you know so maybe it's a good time to uh, regain some of your old contacts you know, maybe it's a good time to uh rekindle some old uh, relationships that you had you know with your school friends with your uh, childhood uh, friends actually or your teachers or your guides your gurus your counselors and they they may uh, help you get things which nobody could okay so therefore uh, it is very important that you understand the energy of ashwini nakshatra it is not just that you are doing everything yourself but you are also helping others doing uh, others to get things done and you are also asking help from others in getting your things done so if you feel that there is something in your life which you are not able to do which you are trying very hard but it's still not working uh, then uh, maybe it's a good time to uh, ask your friend or some old contact to or maybe you can go to some networking events make new friends so this is how you can actually capitalize on the power of this nakshatra and a planet like jupiter especially because wherever jupiter transits he expands okay so especially if jupiter is your uh, prominent lord like he's your lagna lord or he's your 10th lord he's a 9th 9th lord of your lagna chart then it is possible that you might be starting something big you know you might be doing big things in life and uh, you are starting off with something massive okay so all the best if jupiter is lord of your uh, first ninth or tenth i'm sure uh, you are going to do big things in life all right so that will be all from my side if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think needs to know about this and if you want a consultation from me you can always go to my website down in the description section and yes by the way i hope the audio is now better because this mic is connected i can see that in the screen all right thank you so much god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him